Good morning, everybody. Happy, beautiful, sunny day. San Diego weather is really throwing us for a loop. It's very cold last night and this morning, and it's going to be extremely hot toward the end of the week. We are just on a, on a bit of a cycle here. That will be important for you. It's going to be very hot and dry toward the end of the week, so you want to drink plenty of water. Right now, let's have our birthday people come on up and join me. Our first Tuesday flag raising of the year. As they are coming up, uh, I've got some news for you. We had two people participating in the Greater San Diego Hunter Jumper Championship, an equestrian event. And I learned that Michelle Berry came in first place in her division. So congratulations to Michelle. And Talia Fish came in fifth place in her division uh, against some older boys and girls. So congratulations to both of them. That's wonderful. All right, let's see what else. Uh, we have a new Lancer. I can't remember if I announced that or not, but... We have a tiny little Lancer by the name of Isla Marguerite Spirit. So I think I did announce that, but now we have the name. So there you go. Congratulations, Mr. Spirit. All right, let's see. Who has a birthday today? How about yesterday? How about tomorrow? There we go. <laughs> All right, our flag, is, our flag is at half mast, and we do that to honor people. Um, especially when we have sad things happen around our country. We, we have had a few sad things going on, and that is so that we remember those people and keep them in our hearts. But we're going to start our flag raising right now. Everybody facing the flag, hands over your hearts. And if the two of you would start us off, who are our birthday people tomorrow? You? You and you. Okay, come on over here. Here we go. One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America Outstanding. Now we're doing a little pilot project here as you can see. This is our junior kindergarten. We have so much more room. We're seeing how this works. So it's an experiment. No, you can stay there for now. But next week, maybe we can have our whole junior kindergarten there. That's breaking, what, 25 years of tradition. <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay. Well, something new. All right. Let's have a happy birthday song for our birthday people. And here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear birthday people. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. That was very nice. All right, let's have President Ella come on down here and lead us through Strive. So, if we could all say Strive together. Seek always to do your best. Treat people and property with respect. Revere the truth, invest in your future, value school rules, your heritage, and personal responsibilities, enrich the world for all. So I think that the V and Strive, or at least part of it, means to keep track of all of your belongings, and especially now that it gets colder, make sure you keep all your jackets out of the lost and found, and make sure you always know where they are. And there's another announcement that I'd like to make about um, an upcoming book drive that we're going to be participating in with upper and middle school to donate books to a school that's less fortunate than ours. Perfect. More details on that. Birthday people, thank you for joining us. That's going to be the world's biggest book drive, and we'll have more information for you as, as the student council begins to advertise it uh, next week. We have no school this Friday. Teachers have school, but kids don't. And nobody has school next Monday, which is our fall break. So keep that in mind. 
We have, uh, I'd like to thank all of you for, uh, I'd like to thank all of you for a wonderful homecoming. I don't know if we have our organizers here or not. Here they are, okay. Come on down, we've got a special thank you for them. I'd like to thank my mom, Jen Brady, for helping with this year's homecoming. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'd like to thank Mrs. Burns and my mom, Jen Brady, for helping with this year's homecoming. Even though they totally embarrassed me for forcing me to be part of the Spirit Wear fashion show. <laughs> However, everybody seemed to like it. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was wonderful. Uh, thank you also to those of you who participated in the Ken Whalen Surf Challenge. How many of you were out there? Put your hands up. That's fantastic. Such a wonderful event. And that also benefits the Challenged Athletes Foundation. So thank you so much for that. You have an opportunity to sign up for after-school activities. They actually began yesterday in the rain. Uh, you can continue to sign up for LEAP activities if you'd like. And we have coffees this week. We have one right after flag raising this morning. For special teachers, it's our very, very first one. And then on Thursday, we'll have a coffee for fourth grade parents so you can learn all about fourth graders and what they do and why they do it. Ahorita vamos a tener la frase de la semana. What show when? Buenos días. La frase de la semana in English is We are good citizens. We are good citizens. We respect for our school and the earth. Repeat that in Espanol. Somos Ciudadanos responsables. Repitan en español. Somos ciudadanos responsables de nuestra escuela y nuestra tierra. Gracias. Wash your dear dear. The sentence of the week is Columbus Day is celebrated on the second Monday of October. Please repeat after me. Go and boosher. Sure the Erga. Sing T E. When I say say say, please say Buka T, please. Say <laughs> say. I'm gonna hear you. Say say. All right, thank you everybody and have a wonderful week.